Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Giffen. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I've got a special guest with me today. Uh, Scott Steinberg is here. Scott is the author of the Modern Parents Guide book series and host of uh, Family Tech, a technology for parents and kids. So, Scott, thank you so much for being here with us today. Hey, my pleasure, Ryan. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking, uh, and a lot of you out there are, uh, your background is in education, uh, you're dealing with students every day, uh, as well as in the classroom, and we're going to talk a little bit about how technology plays a role in our lives and how it's changing, uh, it's new, uh, a lot of the great things that are going on. Uh, Scott's been uh, a leading consultant, expert, keynote speaker in all these areas, so um, I know he'll be fantastic for you, so uh, hang with us today as we, we kind of dove into those. Uh, details. Uh, but uh, we've got some new exciting also books coming out uh, in the next few days. So uh, those are very exciting. We'll feature at the end of this um, Skype interview. So uh, Scott, tell me a little bit about yourself, about Tech Savvy, what, what you're doing uh, to uh, communicate the importance of technology, especially from the student and the teacher perspective. Sure. Well, I'm an analyst in the technology business, consumer electronics, video games, consumer products. I've covered the field for 400 plus outlets, CNN, Rolling Stone, and provide analyst services and research. And what's interesting is that we get to see things both from the company's perspective and from students' perspective, as well as everyday families. And really what we're trying to do with the Modern Parents Guide series, which is the world's first high-tech parenting book series, is educate people to the fact that technology is here. It's not going away. It's an intrinsic part of kids' lives and families' lives, and it's actually going to reshape the way we approach education going forward. And what's interesting is we really need to be educating parents and kids from the earliest age, not only on high-tech basics, but also online safety and digital citizenship. And the nice part about it is technology can be a wonderful part of kids' lives. We just have to help them by leading by example. Technology, even when I was a student, technology started to make its way into the classroom, whether it was through, you know, your backlit transparency projectors or, you know, in college when projectors first started to, to come and, uh, you know, we have these smart classrooms with DVD players. Uh, beyond your standard, you know, devices for technology, what items are being most utilized and what's changing the most in the American classroom or the 21st century classroom today? Well, I think what's interesting is that a lot of classes and classrooms are changing so that you have online courses, a lot's being done via online forums where kids can ask questions in a much more comfortable environment. They don't have to feel bad about being potentially called out or embarrassed mm -hmm. about it. On top of it, you're seeing webinars. You've got resources like iTunes U where kids can go. They can see lectures. And not only this, but you're also seeing a lot of companies and a lot of schools starting to use simulated environments or so-called serious games basically virtual worlds where kids can go and they can experiment, they can try scenarios in context and approach them from a variety of different uh, different approaches, mm -hmm. uh, see them from different contexts. And what's nice is they feel encouraged, they don't have to worry about making mistakes, and they can try different strategies, apply them in real time, see what happens, and then actually go back because some of these strategies are saved and see best practices, see what they could have done to do things better. And they're actually more engaged because instead of passive lectures, you can see technology is making things very active and engaging for the kids. You have five ways to uh, that you suggest to make technology safe and fun for kids and students uh, from the parents' perspective. One of those that uh, I think hits home with us today in our audience uh, is make a commitment to education. Talk about that a little. Yeah, well, it's important to remember that homework isn't just for kids. It's for parents as well. And keeping them safe is a moving target. There's new technologies, new gadgets, new apps, new online services that are introduced every day, as well as many existing ones like Facebook and Twitter that are constantly updated. So they have new capabilities. And as a parent, you have to understand when you introduce technology into kids' lives or as an educator as well, it's an active commitment. You have to be there. You have to keep yourself up to speed on the latest advancements. Doesn't mean you have to try out every single app or every single service, but you do have to have a grasp on what features they open up and more importantly, what trends are happening out there. And the nice part about it is it makes you more informed so you can have better, more open, more honest dialogue. And to be frank, I'm not sure how you'd be able to teach something if you don't quite know what you're up against. Currently, what's your most favorite tool that's being introduced into the classroom today? 
Well, I have to say I'm very pleased with things like iTunes U, the fact that if kids want to learn more about subjects, they can go reference them online, access all sorts of different lectures, find different instructors' takes on things, get perspective. You also have the digital textbooks out there that you can get for so many classes, so kids can reference things right there on their e-reader, their iPad. And the nice part about it is oftentimes they're backed by multimedia, so you can get videos, you can link off to further information, instructional segments. So I think the fact that learning as a whole is becoming much more interactive and it's becoming much more flexible in terms of solutions the fact that you can learn at your own pace the fact that you can access some of these right from your computer at home the fact that you don't have to be there in a classroom and you can still be educating yourself it's absolutely wonderful with the ipad 3 just recently being released do you see tablets completely taking over the classroom or will a laptop approach continue to grow where do you see that going yeah, I definitely see tablets being utilized more and more. You have to keep in mind that they're hyper-intuitive. Even my kid, who's uh, early preschool years, is able to use them right away. And the interesting part, we're seeing kids as young as kindergarten who are being required to bring tablets into the classroom. What's nice about them, they're so user-friendly. They make computing so much easier. They're so hyper-intuitive and second nature to kids. And they're so increasingly powerful, especially this year with systems like the iPad HD. I really do think they are going to be the future of technology because they'll allow kids to see very rich, vibrant multimedia, to reference things online immediately, to interact with one another, to communicate and actually play with things in context, find out more about them. So tremendously powerful tools, but of course, laptops and ultrabooks, which are a, a new type of laptop from Intel, which mimic tablets' best features. You know, these are all going to have a part to play in the classroom as well. Scott, you go uh, to schools and you speak with parent groups, uh, educators, uh, one of the topics that's featured uh, on your profile, which uh, we can uh, feature a link at the bottom here so you can visit there if you'd like, uh, but your topic of technology for teachers, electronic education, is one of those feature topics that we uh, offer to people like you who are out there looking to bring Scott in to talk about that. Explain what would kind of entail you coming to their school, whether you're talking with their parents on the evening session, uh, maybe to their students about the importance of technology, or maybe on a teacher in-service day when those just those teachers are there to learn how to be better educators. What would you bring to the table for those types of uh, groups that are bringing you in? Well, certainly quite a bit of perspective. As you pointed out, we don't talk to these groups. We actually speak with them. And it's an ongoing discussion and dialogue. You know, it's funny because I actually learn as much from speaking to parents and educators as I hope they do from speaking with me. But what's interesting is we talk about different solutions, tools you can use, websites, social media platforms, ways that you can apply apps, gadgets in context. But more importantly, we talk about a little bit what the curriculum might look like there and how you can educate kids and foster open and honest discussion in the classroom. Because really Really, at the end of the day, you're going to speak with kids, you're going to give them some basics, but they are going to encounter different questionable situations on the internet. They are going to have problems that they encounter out there. And so really, you need to prepare them to make good decisions. You need to be able to have that open and frank discussion with them mm -hmm. so that you can find out how they're experiencing technology, how they're using it. And really what's nice is we talk about open and honest ways that in the classroom, kids and teachers can be interacting in a much more informal manner, but still be much more engaged and get better instruction and get hands-on learning. And so really from the earliest age on up to college and university level and even continuing education for adults, we talk a little bit about how you can integrate technology, make it a valuable part of the classroom, and most importantly, the learning experience as a whole. You're about to release the world's first high-tech parenting guide uh, tomorrow. Uh, this is called the Modern Parents Guide to Kids and Video Games. Explain a little bit about that. Sure. Well, it's the Modern Parents Guide series. We're doing a whole range of them beyond video games alone. We're going to have Facebook and social networks. We're going to have a guide to internet, web, and online safety, smartphones and apps, digital media, music, movies, and so forth. And really what we're trying to do is equip parents with the tools they need to meet the challenges that technology presents today's family. And so, you know, what we found when we did our research was that a lot of parenting guides treated parents as if they didn't necessarily understand technology. And our supposition is that you probably know quite a bit about technology. You might have an iPhone, you might have a Blackberry, you might have a laptop at work. But really what we found is a lot of parents and educators simply didn't have the time they needed to research the new technology because it changes so fast. And the interesting part is even for industry experts, you have to keep in mind that online rules of behavior, conduct, 
etiquette. I mean, these are constantly changing. And so you really have to keep up with it. So what we wanted to do with the Modern Parents Guide series was offer parents and educators, and these are completely free to download, mind you. You can always pick up paperback versions, but we do encourage people to download it free as a PDF or on Sony reader devices to give them instant tools, hints, tips, online resources, quick reference guides that can help them better meet the challenges that technology presents. Scott, your expertise is uh, inspirational. I know you're a parent. Uh, you're on the front lines every day, so you're, you're working with this both professionally and personally every day. Uh, it's a great inspiration to see what you're doing to uh, increase the knowledge uh, and, and the abilities that our students, our educators every day, and our parents have to, to make a difference and utilize the tools that we're given. So we appreciate that. We encourage everyone to check out the Modern, pa Modern Parents Guide uh, book series uh, as well as his uh, video show, Family tech. So Scott, thank you so much for being here with us. And I hope all of you out there will get a chance to uh, check Scott out and bring him into your next event. Thanks again. And remember, don't stop learning. <laughs> Never will. Thank you, Scott. All right. Thanks.